In physics, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity of an object with respect to time. An object's acceleration is the net result of all forces acting on the object, as described by Newton's second law. The SI unit for acceleration is meter per second squared ms Accelerations are vector quantities they have magnitude and direction and add according to the parallelogram law. The vector of the net force acting on a body has the same direction as the vector of the body's acceleration, and its magnitude is proportional to the magnitude of the acceleration, with the object's mass a scalar quantity as proportionality constant. For example, when a car starts from a standstill zero velocity, in an inertial frame of reference and travels in a straight line at increasing speeds, it is accelerating in the direction of travel. If the car turns, an acceleration occurs toward the new direction. The forward acceleration of the car is called a linear or tangential acceleration, the reaction to which passengers in the car experience as a force pushing them back into their seats. When changing direction, this is called radial as orthogonal to tangential acceleration, the reaction to which passengers experience as a sideways force. If the speed of the car decreases, this is an acceleration in the opposite direction of the velocity of the vehicle, sometimes called deceleration. Passengers experience the reaction to deceleration as a force pushing them forwards. Both acceleration and deceleration are treated the same, they are both changes in velocity. Each of these accelerations tangential, radial, deceleration is felt by passengers until their velocity speed and direction matches that of the uniformly moving car. <laughs> Definition and properties Average acceleration An object's average acceleration over a period of time is its change in velocity. Delta V display style delta math BF V divided by the duration of the period delta T display style delta T mathematically a equals delta V delta T Display style bar math bf a equals frac delta math bf v delta t. Topic: Instantaneous acceleration. Instantaneous acceleration, meanwhile, is the limit of the average acceleration over an infinitesimal interval of time. In the terms of calculus, instantaneous acceleration is the derivative of the velocity vector with respect to time. A equals lim delta t zero delta v delta t equals d v d t. Display style math bf a equals lim underscore delta t to zero frac delta math bf v delta t equals frac d math bf v dt. Here and elsewhere, if motion is in a straight line, vector quantities can be substituted by scalars in the equations. It can be seen that the integral of the acceleration function a t is the velocity function v t, that is, the area under the curve of an acceleration versus time a versus t graph corresponds to velocity. V equals a d t. Display style math bf v equals int math bf a d t. As acceleration is defined as the derivative of velocity, v, with respect to time t and velocity is defined as the derivative of position, x, with respect to time, acceleration can be thought of as the second derivative of x with respect to t a equals d v d t equals d 2 x d t Two display style math bf a equals frac d math bf v dt equals frac d caret two math bf x dt caret two. Topic units. 
Acceleration has the dimensions of velocity L t divided by time, i.e. L t minus 2. The SI unit of acceleration is the meter per second squared ms minus 2, or meter per second per second. As the velocity in meters per second changes by the acceleration value, every second. Other forms An object moving in a circular motion—such as a satellite orbiting the Earth—is accelerating due to the change of direction of motion, although its speed may be constant. In this case it is said to be undergoing centripetal directed towards the center acceleration. Proper acceleration, the acceleration of a body relative to a free fall condition, is measured by an instrument called an accelerometer. In classical mechanics, for a body with constant mass, the vector acceleration of the body's center of mass is proportional to the net force vector i.e. sum of all forces acting on it Newton's second law F equals M a a equals f m display style math bff equals m math bf a quad to quad math bf a equals math bff per meter where f is the net force acting on the body m is the mass of the body and a is the center of mass acceleration as speeds approach the speed of light relativistic effects become increasingly large Tangential and centripetal acceleration The velocity of a particle moving on a curved path as a function of time can be written as v t equals v t v t v t equals v t u T T Display style Math BF V T equals V T FRAC Math BF V T V T equals V T Math BF U underscore Mathem T T with V T equal to the speed of travel along the path and U T equals V T V T Display style math bf u underscore mathrm t equals frac math bf v t v t a unit vector tangent to the path pointing in the direction of motion at the chosen moment in time, taking into account both the changing speed v t and the changing direction of ut. The acceleration of a particle moving on a curved path can be written using the chain rule of differentiation for the product of two functions of time as a equals D V D T equals D V D T U T plus V T D U T D T Equals dv dt u t plus v two r u n display style begin align that three math bf a and equals frac mathrm d math bf v mathrm d t and equals frac mathrm d v mathrm d t math bf u underscore mathrm t plus v t frac d math bf u underscore mathrm t d t and equals frac mathrm d v mathrm d t math bf U underscore mathem T plus FRAC V carrot two R Math BF U underscore mathem N end aligned at where un is the unit inward normal vector to the particle's trajectory, also called the principal normal, and R is its instantaneous radius of curvature based upon the osculating circle at time T. These components are called the tangential acceleration and the normal or radial acceleration or centripetal acceleration in circular motion, see also circular motion and centripetal force. Geometrical analysis of three-dimensional space curves, which explains tangent, principal normal and binormal, is described by the frenet serret formulas. Special cases <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Uniform acceleration. Uniform or constant acceleration is a type of motion in which the velocity of an object changes by an equal amount in every equal time period. A frequently cited example of uniform acceleration is that of an object in free fall in a uniform gravitational field. The acceleration of a falling body in the absence of resistances to motion is dependent only on the gravitational field strength g also called acceleration due to gravity. By Newton's second law the force, F, acting on a body is given by F equals m g Display style math bff equals m math bf g. Because of the simple analytic properties of the case of constant acceleration, there are simple formulas relating the displacement, initial and time-dependent velocities, and acceleration to the time elapsed. S t equals s zero plus v zero t plus 1 2 a t 2 equals s 0 plus v 0 plus v t 2 t Display style math bf s t equals math bf s underscore zero plus math bf v underscore zero t plus t f r a c one two math bf a t caret two equals math bf s underscore zero plus f r a c math bf v underscore zero plus math bf v t two t v t equals v Zero plus a t display style math bf v t equals math bf v underscore zero plus math bf a t v two t equals v zero two plus two a s t Minus s zero display style v caret two t equals v underscore zero caret two plus two math bf a c d o t math bf s t math bf s underscore zero where t display style t is the elapsed time s zero display style math bf s underscore zero is the initial displacement from the origin s t display style math bf s t is the displacement from the origin at time t display style t v 0 display style math bf v underscore 0 is the initial velocity v t Display style math bf v t is the velocity at time t. Display style t and a display style math bf a is the uniform rate of acceleration. In particular, the motion can be resolved into two orthogonal parts, one of constant velocity and the other according to the above equations. As Galileo showed, the net result is parabolic motion, which describes e g the trajectory of a projectile in a vacuum near the surface of earth topic <inaudible> circular motion in uniform circular motion that is moving with constant speed along a circular path a particle experiences an acceleration resulting from the change of the direction of the velocity vector while its magnitude remains constant the derivative of the location of a point on a curve with respect to time, i.e. its velocity, turns out to be always exactly tangential to the curve, respectively orthogonal to the radius in this point. Since in uniform motion the velocity in the tangential direction does not change, the acceleration must be in radial direction, pointing to the center of the circle. 
This acceleration constantly changes the direction of the velocity to be tangent in the neighboring point, thereby rotating the velocity vector along the circle. For a given speed v, v the magnitude of this geometrically caused acceleration is inversely proportional to the radius r of the circle, and increases as the square of this speed a equals v 2 1 r display style text rm o equals v caret 2 c dot frac 1 r expressing this vector in polar components where r display style math bf r is a vector from the center of the circle to the particle with magnitude equal to this distance and considering the orientation of the acceleration towards the center yields equals minus v 2 r r r display style math bf equals frac v caret 2 math bf r c dot frac math bf r math bf r as usual in rotations the speed v display style v of a particle may be expressed as an angular speed with respect to a point at the distance r display style r as omega equals v r display style omega equals frac v r thus a equals minus omega 2 r Display style math bf equals omega caret two math bf r. This acceleration and the mass of the particle determine the necessary centripetal force directed toward the center of the circle, as the net force acting on this particle to keep it in this uniform circular motion. The so-called centrifugal force, appearing to act outward on the body, is a so-called pseudo force experienced in the frame of reference of the body in circular motion, due to the body's linear momentum, a vector tangent to the circle of motion. In a non-uniform circular motion, i.e., the speed along the curved path is changing, the acceleration has a non-zero component tangential to the curve, and is not confined to the principal normal, which directs to the center of the osculating circle, that determines the radius r display style r for the centripetal acceleration the tangential component is given by the angular acceleration alpha display style alpha ie the rate of change alpha equals omega display style alpha equals dot omega of the angular speed omega display style omega times the radius R display style R that is a equals R alpha display style a equals R alpha the sign of the tangential component of the acceleration is determined by the sign of the angular acceleration alpha display style alpha and the tangent is of course always directed at right angles to the radius vector Relation to relativity Special relativity The special theory of relativity describes the behavior of objects traveling relative to other objects at speeds approaching that of light in a vacuum. Newtonian mechanics is exactly revealed to be an approximation to reality, valid to great accuracy at lower speeds. As the relevant speeds increase toward the speed of light, acceleration no longer follows classical equations. As speeds approach that of light, the acceleration produced by a given force decreases, becoming infinitesimally small as light speed is approached. An object with mass can approach this speed asymptotically, but never reach it. General relativity Unless the state of motion of an object is known, it is impossible to distinguish whether an observed force is due to gravity or to acceleration 
Gravity and inertial acceleration have identical effects. Albert Einstein called this the equivalence principle, and said that only observers who feel no force at all—including the force of gravity—are justified in concluding that they are not accelerating. Conversions See also <inaudible> 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 <inaudible>